What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy. Go crazy. Back with another video today, man. Nah, as y'all know about the title, I'm making the late great Kobe Bryant build for NBA 2K21. Now, it's sad the way Kobe left this earth with us, but regardless, man, we just still gotta do what we gotta do, man. Smaller mentality the whole way through. All the way through 2K21, man. Whole way through, but today I'm gonna make it build for you the way I would make it. Now, other people they make it differently, but this is the way I would make it with everybody's opinions bigger. Now, to start off this build, you're gonna want to go with the third pie chart. This one, one, two, three, third. The one that look a little off, it's a little new. Now, with the speed, I always go for the first one personally, but if you don't like that one, I recommend this one. So, for this video, I'm gonna go with this one. Now, the way you're going to make this big is you want to give him his close shot max set out at an 88. You want to give his driving layup a 91 max set out. And you know you got to max out the driving though, so you can get that as 81. Then for the standing dunk, I know you're not really supposed to touch this, but you're going to put this at a 51 so you can at least get 16 finishes. So at least four Hall of Fame in that category. And so then for the shooting, you want to give him an 81. You know how many points he dropped? 81 points. Point for that three pointer. Give him a 79. Then when it's free throw, you want to make it an 86. Or max it out, basically. So you can have 16 shooting, too. Just so if you want to change it up, so you have another change up. Now, for the pass accuracy, for the playmaking, you want to go 76 on this right here. Then for the ball handling, you know you're going to match the ball handling, man. So you can almost speed boost, not leave you with 12, but don't touch the post moves. You're not gonna use it. Interior defense, I never touch it. But the perimeter defense, you gotta max it out. You gotta be able to guard the three. Then for the lateral quickness, you wanna max it out to 74. So you can be fast getting up the court. For the steal, you wanna max it out to 79. So you can have a chance at least of getting the steal. At least if it works this year, if pickpocket works. So for the block, you want to put that at 51. Max that out. For the offensive rebound, want to max that out at 56. And for the defensive rebound, you can just max it out at 44. Or you can take the defensive rebound and go and try to max it out right here. But either way, it does nothing. It's your choice. But me, I'm going to put it on a defensive rebound since I know a shooting guard isn't going to be playing paint defense. And so the badges would leave you at 16 finishing, 16 shooting, 12 playmaking, and 5 defensive. And now Kobe, for my build, I would go to fine like usual. You know you got to make him 6'6". Six, six. But for the weight, put it all the way to the lowest so you can get the most speed and acceleration getting up out of there. Now for the wingspan, I would tone it up a bit, just one, so that driver don't go to an 86, even though it doesn't hurt the three-pointer or the mid-range shot. When you get the plus four boost, if you hit 99, for the three-pointer, that goes to an 80, and that mid-range goes to an 82. So, I mean, and it helps your defensive stats look too. So, you're really all good. I mean, it doesn't hurt nothing, but if you keep going, it makes your three-pointer worse, 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 and worse, but it makes your defense better. Now you go short, it makes your three-pointer better, but you don't get contact though, so that's not good. So I recommend just going one tick up, and you'll be good. Now Kobe, the Kobe I'm making, Kobe wasn't really no playmaker. Kobe could pull that thing if he wanted to from D. He was a slash, he could dunk on people too. But for me, I'm going to go shot creator because he would dominate in the post. Now, this is how you would make the Kobe feel. Now, I don't know why I say a slasher, but we all know he, he could do everything, man. He could do everything. For the build aspect, I'm gonna go over that too. So, for this, bam. So, you get all the finishing. Once you get that from the badges I seen last year, you'll put on Hall of Fame contact finisher. Hall of Fame relentless finisher, because ain't nobody stopping you. Hall of Fame fancy footwork, if that still works. And Hall of Fame slither finisher, if that still works. But if we don't know, I mean, we'll have to change them out later on as the game comes out in the next four days. But for the shoes, since there's no quick draw, I put on Hall of Fame dead. No, I get gold badges. I mean, gold dead eye, gold green machine, gold range extender, 
I don't know. I think I like walnut sugar this badge. And I'll put on a hot zone. On this is the way I work on my setup. And I have one more edge, so I'm gonna catch a shoot. Just for just for it. Then for the playmaking badge, you gotta go that go quick first step. Then put on let's see. Gold tight handles, bronze, gold, the bronze, gold. If it works this year. But if it doesn't work, I know bronze works. Then I'll put on the gold handles for days. And the silver. You could go that for diamond if your teammate needs, or you could just run silver diamond and no bailout. But I don't recommend running no bailout in 2K20. I mean 2K21. Sorry. But we don't know how the badge works this year. So if it does work and you need it, put it on silver. But if you don't, you can just put that on silver. Tone this down. Put that on bronze. You can run it like this. I mean, but personal preference still. Now for the badges, you could go silver clamps, silver intimidator, and bronze pick dodger. Hopefully, pick dodger works this year. But I've seen people clamp up people with five badges. I mean, Tosino did it, and I don't know how he was clamping up people with five defensive badges at 6'3. But it's possible. But if that's not your style, you could just run it like this. And you could be set to. But this is the way I would run my build for my Kobe player. Now, if you want more tutorials like this, y'all know, hold up, we not through yet. But we almost are. But, you know you gotta give him that Kobe jump shot, man. But, like I said, if you'd like to see more gameplay or me making more builds, we got four more days of this. But, don't worry about it, man. We still going crazy on 2K21, like I said. But, don't forget to like and subscribe, man. And we out here. Don't forget to sub, too. Peace.